Welcome back to another edition of Hurricane Talk. The Hurricane Junior Golf Tour headed north this past weekend to Augusta, Georgia for the HJGT Fall Championship. This year's Fall Championship was hosted by the Forest Hills Golf Club. The field contained over 80 players from South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida. Let's now take a look back at what went down at the HJGT Fall Championship. In the boys 16 and 19 division, Christopher Jodis of Savannah, Georgia set the early tone as he shot a 200 par 70 on Saturday to hold the overnight lead. Austin Langdale of Townville, South Carolina and Taylor Goh of Evans, Georgia went into Sunday's round in second and third place respectively each a stroke behind one another. However, Sunday belonged to Chandler Vilcek of Bluffton, South Carolina, as he shot a 3-under 69 to place him in a tie atop the leaderboard with Langdale, who would shoot a second round 74. Vilcek and Langdale finished the second round in a tie for first place with a two-round total of 145. The championship would have to be settled in a sudden death playoff. Both Langdale and Vilcek bogeyed the par 4 10th hole, which is where the playoff started. Then on the par 5 11th hole, Vilcek was able to get on in 2, which led to him 2 putting for birdie and the title for the boys 16 to 19 division. In the boys 13 to 15 division, Ryan Carpenter of Aiken, South Carolina, and Emmanuel Kuntakis of Augusta, Georgia would head to a playoff hole to decide the championship as both finished tied with a two round total of 148. Kuntakis led Carpenter by one stroke heading into Sunday as he shot a 3 over 75 on Saturday to hold the overnight lead in the field. Carpenter would win the playoff and the championship as he birdied the first playoff hole. Dylan Pence of Dacula, Georgia put together a solid 1 over 73 round on Sunday to edge out Hunter Parks of Buffalo, South Carolina, and Wesley Long of Bluffton, South Carolina for the third place victory. In the girls 15 to 19 division, Haley Austin of McDonough, Georgia came charging up the leaderboard to claim the championship. Austin shot a 13 over 85 on Sunday to place her in third, but made, but made overnight adjustments to shoot a 3 over 75 on Sunday to take home the trophy by one shot. Austin led the group with four birdies and a 52.8% of pars or better. Stephanie Bennett of Appling, Georgia had an equally impressive comeback, yet fell one stroke short of the title. Bennett shot a 15 over 87 on Saturday, but brought her A game on Sunday, shooting a 2 over 74, the lowest round by a girl in the 15 to 19 division all weekend. Bennett had four birdies all on Sunday to help her move from fourth entering the day to second. In the girls 10 to 14 division, Eunice Yi of Evans, Georgia took an overwhelming lead on Saturday as she shot a 7 over 79 to lead the group by 10 strokes. Sunday would not be as easy as she shot at 87 to give her a two round total of 168. Yi would hold on to the title as she would hold off a strong charge by Sarah Harrison of Martinez, Georgia, who came back from a rough Saturday round to shoot a 3 over 75 on Sunday to give her a two round total of 168 in the second place trophy. In the boys 10 to 12 division, the Hurricane Junior Golf Tour saw its third playoff of the day as Hunter Dunnigan of Martinez, Georgia and Jay Mobley of Waynesboro, Georgia both finished tied with a two round total of 162. The boys headed into the day tied with a nine stroke lead over the field. Dunnigan would go on to win the playoff and secure the title of champion. Dunnigan led the group with four birdies for the weekend and 52.8% of pars or better. Mobley would take home second place. I'm here at the Fall Championship with Ryan Carpenter of Aiken, South Carolina, who is no stranger to the camera. Ryan, you've won two weeks in a row now that on tour. You won uh, the first weekend of October in Myrtle Beach. What do you owe your, your success to? Not forcing anything and hitting my irons well and hit as many greens as possible. All right. And Ryan, here at Forest Hills, I think what most of the players struggle with were the greens out here. Very slopey, 
very slick. Uh, what was your strategy? What did you do this weekend to uh, to avoid making big mistakes in there? I didn't go for the pins that were tough. I just hit and went middle of the green and took a two putt on those and went for the pins that I could. All right, we heard from our boys, 13 to 15 champion Ryan Carpenter. We're here with Haley Austin of McDonough, Georgia, our girls 15 and 19 champion. And Haley, you shot 85 yesterday. You had a tough day. Uh, what did you do today? What were some of your motivators to basically save 10 shots off your score today and, and win today? Um, well, yesterday after my round, I really worked on my putting and made sure I was staying um, clear through the ball. And then just went out there and did what I did yesterday and just tried to on. And Haley, you were um, in the second to last group today. You didn't see what the leaders were doing. What kind of score did you think you had to post today? And what did you ultimately think you had to do to overtake? Um, well, I really thought I needed to shoot a round car today and just go, for, if I had nine iron or less, just go after the pins and try to be burning. All right, well, you heard it from our girls' champion, Haley Austin, who will get a AJG exemption for her victory. Standing beside me, I had Chandler Vilchek, our boy, 16 and 19 champion from Bluffton, South Carolina. And Chandler, you shot 69 today. Uh, you are no stranger to uh, posting low scores on Sunday. What are some of your key ingredients that, that, that seem to work for you on Sunday? Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I do like coming from behind, but uh, yeah, I just like the pressure and um, the competition. Uh, and, you know, uh, feeling like, uh, you know, that feeling of charging and not, um, you know, leading, it's a little, a little easier to uh, to do that and um, you know I just learned from my mistakes the first day and try to capitalize on you know what I did wrong um, shoot a little better score so um. great and Chandler you uh, ultimately got yourself into a playoff with Austin Langdow of Townville South Carolina who is actually one of the better players in South Carolina one of the better players on our tour here uh, what was your mindset going out there playing with him and um, you know battling back and forth yeah um, well I just, I knew I just had to relax and, uh, you know, I hit my, hit a good drive on the first hole and then duff my second shot in the bunker, but, um, he managed to three putt both bogey and went to the next hole. And, um, you know, I just kept telling myself, relax, relax, you know, you don't have to do anything special, just, you know, just keep it in play. Um, then the next hole, uh, I hit a good, it was, you know, it was decent. I hit a pretty good shot, but it was left about you know, farther than 50 feet, but um, he hit his shot to the right, and, uh, and I just thought, <clears throat> just get it somewhere, you know, up there uh, with an uphill putt and try to, uh, you know, make the second putt, and did made a 10-footer to win some. Great. And Chandler also picks up an AJG exemption for his win here at the season's final manager, the fall championship. We'll see everybody next weekend from Coosaw Creek in Charleston, South Carolina. Thank Just a reminder that you can sign up for the Southwest Florida Junior Open at the Preserve Golf Club in Bradenton, Florida on October 30th through the 31st. Deadline to register is this Wednesday, October 20th. For more information, visit us at www dot hjgt dot org